in a world, in a world, in a world, within another world, created by one of the greatest playwrights in history, we meet a great leader, some Romans, and a bunch of douchebag conspirators. Creators of other famous plays such as Macbeth, Hamlet, and who can forget the classic romantic tragedy of two lovers separated by rivalry, Titanic. Uh -oh. Romeo and Juliet is what I meant to say. Anyways, Brutus is having trouble deciding whether to kill Caesar or not, but the many letters from whom he thinks are Roman citizens finally persuades him into ending his reign of terror. When Brutus' wife, Portia, finds out that she has been kept in the dark of the conspiracy, she tries to prove her loyalty. Brutus, you have to believe me! I'm a strong and faithful woman! By stabbing herself in the knee. Which, you know, totally makes sense. But another wife is growing worried as well. Caesar decides not to go, but when Brutus shows up, ready to escort him, his well-spoken words sway Caesar into going after all. What Caesar doesn't know is that a group of conspiring Romans have made different plans for him. Anthony then shows the body to the citizens and proceeds to talk to the public about how the murder was a mistake. When Mark Anthony and the assassins of Julius Caesar fight in what is known as the Battle of Philippi, Brutus is starting to fathom the severity of his mistake. After meeting the ghost of Caesar, Brutus is faced with his inner demons and realizes that his betrayal has made his life unbearable. He decides to end it, and shortly after, Mark Anthony finds his body. Roman of them all. Join us in an epic adventure filled with action. <laughs> Explosions. Love. I fear not the signs of the Witness the fall of a great leader. And the rise of a new empire. of more.